Hi guys, the more we encounter problems, the more knowledge we get. And I had an, uh, we're, we're testing something. There is somebody on the forum who says, look, I can't boot in Arch Linux unless I remove XF86 video Intel. Okay, let's test this out. We've built an ISO for him, it's, a, it's on YouTube, the explanation. And we're gonna test this out on the machines. And I'm testing it out now on four, five, six, I think I'm, I'm counting at six already with in good installations. But this machine here is my ISO build, right? And I removed the package, XF. So if you just watch this, remove XF86 video Intel, which gave me a broken system. So, hey, why is that possible? Because the next one to my right here, it's just working just fine without the package. You can read all about it on um, Archwiki Intel, really in the beginning already. I mentioned that some of the people say, okay, let's just not use that particular package. Now we haven't had, we didn't have any, any uh, problem with it, but this one person triggered everything and made us uh, realize that maybe we don't need a package and it would be an improvement. So we're gonna test this out for the March edition. So you know already, there is this XF86 video Intel thing that we're gonna get rid of. See if it's possible. You can see it's slow, but mind you, that's more for a beta tester kind of guy in the sense that you can fix things uh, because I'm gonna break my system. And might be people here as well breaking their systems in the sense that if and if, that's a big if, if you followed the Nemesis script, I use scripting after the installation, Arclinks Nemesis. And in the script, it says install settings for X11. So that's a major intervention that's gonna tell Xorg, hey guy, uh, we have this graphical card, that graphical card in the NVIDIA videos. You've seen that it's invasive, right? But this is for my computers, my hardware, and I say that as well in um, the text up here. I say, guys, watch out, you're gonna break the system. Fixing glitches in the simple screen recorder on Intel for the computer of Eric Dubois. But I myself forgot I had that done that, and it might be your reason as well. And the most important thing is, even if you did not use this, then it's always when it says unable to start the light display manager, I keep telling that and I'm, I'm getting more and more convinced that it's not a light DM thing. It's either an Nvidia thing that's behind it, or in my case, I forgot I had put something there in the X org. So the machine, the, 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 this command that I run on every computer, right, puts a file he puts a file in here. This guy, 20intel.conf, goes to Xorg to just ensure that I can record everything tier free. Now, what I didn't realize is if I delete XF86 video package there, this is still there. And I'm going to record it and show you that you get again, of course. Uh, LightDM could not uh, start or something failed, failed to start Light Display Manager. That's the sentence. Failed to start Light Display Manager. But it's not his fault. It's my fault. I put in there some, something in there in the X org. So that's, it, I think, the most important message I want to give you in this video is analyze ETC X11. Go and have a look what's in here. Because you think nothing is in here. There should be something maybe here. No, this is the daemon, so whatever is going to go in the folder there is going to be run, right? So I'm going to put the 20 again in there, I'm going to break my system, I'm going to record it with my, uh, my Samsung here, my, my smartphone, okay? Um, I should go again to run that thing there, Nemesis, so breaking my system, fine. Ah. Once you know the solution, you can joke, joke about it. But it was about, I don't know, two hours maybe I've lost just because I won, I forgot my own settings. I forgot to actually 
think <laughs> it's still morning. So take a look what happens. I wanted to make to ensure that I got a tier three thing. So I said one. Okay, fine. And then the script runs, and this tier three thing is in the xorg.conf. Which is cool, which was cool when I had video intel, but I've removed it. And then suddenly everything breaks down. So it's always a matter of what did I change, I go back in time. But this was going back in time since the last installation. The last installation was July the 15th. I mean, there is going back in time, there is going back in time. So I've been rolling since then. I forgot I've got that file. So stopping the video here and recording everything with my smartphone since it's gonna crash. Um, just to be too sure, I think, uh, to, to show you guys, everything is working fine. Um, if I don't have XF86 video intel with that file up there, everything's gonna break. Um, so there you go. Think, check what elements do you have, what packages do you have, what packages could conflict potentially. Um, there is NVIDIA drivers there, there is this file that I just, rec that just discovered that uh, breaks my system. But there's always something behind the LiveVM that, that's preventing it to launch. And this is a good place to start, Xorg or any drivers you've uh, installed. Alright, breaking my system.